95, that's overpower cards. Remember, I've discussed these before in uh, relation to, uh, you know, my other bookmarks, which include Galactica cards. A little nice hologram on the Galactica here. I need to devote a whole show to this. Uh, and, of course, the uh, the classic, sorry, I always, my, my classic bookmarks, the, the next-gen playing customized, custom, I still can't say customizable uh, playing cards. Anyway, there it is. So, uh, the random, not much information we can get off this one. This is just the Peter da David Hulk smash from the time. And I don't know what it does. Uh, opponent must immediately discard one placed universe card of Hulk's choice. So, that's apparently how the game is played. So, that is what we've learned. Um, nowhere to really go with that. I'm disappointed. Just looking at some of these these cards I picked up from the from the deck. Where did the deck go? Oh, the deck's down here. It's comic cards deck. Um, um, do I want to do any more? Was Hulk a bad choice? How about we do? Uh, all right. So again, Marvel Bronze Age, Bronze Age. Not my strength, but this looks like we're learning about some Hydra. Are we doing the werewolf again? I just did a werewolf card. What was going on in 1974 that was all about the damn werewolves? But that's Tigra right there. So this is, uh, <laughs> I almost read this as giant creatures, great and small. But it's uh, giant sized creatures with, again, werewolf by night and Tigra. Uh, whoever Gear Nelson is, is that Tigra? Yes, it is. Made her debut as Tigra in the issue. Now, I got the collected Tigra. The Marvel came out with the trade probably seven to ten years ago by now. I want to read that. I want to read the Mockingbird trades. I want to read some of those, that old stuff. Um, uh, captured after the final secret, a weapon of the cat people. She was rescued by, I guess, uh, Jack Russell, uh, who had changed into a werewolf. Under the full moon, the two join forces to stop Hydra and keep the uh, the secret final weapon thing. Uh, oh, this was the first appearance of Tigra? All right, I'm going to have to see if this is in that trade that I have. Yeah, here's what I was talking about. This is uh, Tigra, the complete collection. It came out in... Um It's always difficult to find the year in these because it's so tiny. 2019, so not too long ago. Um, I guess that issue's in here. But it starts with like the cat. She becomes the cat first, right? So I imagine this came out because Jessica Jones, right? She, she uh, That character was in the Jessica Jones series. Um, then, you know, I, I need to read this, and I might have fun when I read it. Uh, but um, I'm not finding this this issue right away because there we, we do do we have a no we do not we do not have a, a page that tells us what all these stories are we just have to stumble on them and find them we've got uh, uh, there it is there it is right there all right well I look forward to to reading the giant size creatures great and small uh, number one featuring the first. Uh, uh, appearance of Tigra and not uh, the cat and uh, see how the folks at Marvel weave the whole story together so there it is like I said I'm upstairs and I only have access to the 93 Marvel card questions and imagine maybe we'll get some Tigra questions on this one questions begin Starhawk I don't even know who Starhawk is now, wasn't there a toy knockoff brand called Star Hawks or Hawk Stars or something? Is that... I remember those issues, but... I guess they were Marvel, but they were a different line. I thought it was just a toy. But, no, I know nothing about Star Hawk. Well, Spidey's the menace. Spidey's always been the menace to the society. Easy question there. Ooh, so FF was 62, right? 63. 
they were such a success that in 63 we found Captain America in the ice and the Avengers came back. Spidey was also 63 though, right? It's got to be 63. Well, maybe it's 62, but not, not the four after. The Vanisher is not coming. It's not coming to me. Was the Vanisher a Spidey villain? Vanisher? I don't know. It's going to have to be the last one I do on this computer. It's had its day. i got to take these other ones and put them... Um, yes, Rachel... Rachel Summers. That is from the Days of Future Past reality. She was, she was weaved in... She was an Excalibur in the 90s, right? I, I don't... I, I lost track of what happened to her after that. I think she came back as the Phoenix a few times, and I don't know what happened to the character. Now, Rachel Summers is supposed to come from the same alternate reality as Bishop, right? So, why didn't Rachel Summers play a more important role in Age of Apocalypse? Be oh, because Bishop was taken back in time when Xavier was assassinated by Legion. We don't know what happened to Rachel Summers, but she wouldn't play a role in that anyway. So I don't know. With the timey wimey stuff, what 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 the fate of Rachel Summers is or was. I'm sure she's still out there. Hopefully not a vampire like what they did the Jubilee. Uh but uh th there it is. Rachel Summers. Days of Future not it's not she's not in Days of Future Past. She's in Days of Future Present. Um that's not where she started. I don't know. I can see it in my head, but I just I just think it came out of the uncanny books of the 80s. That's who it is. All right, let's see how we did. Uh, what was the question? I don't even know what the answer. What, 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 what? Oh, Starhawk. Well, Starhawk is is named um, Stalker. Maybe I'm thinking of Starhawks. I'm going to have to go put that in the description, too, and we can learn a little bit about the Starhawks. Now, Marvel had a... It's not epic, but they did have some kind of kitty toy line of books, an imprint. What was the name of that imprint? All right. Yes, Spider-Man's The Menace. 63 for the Avengers. Good. Oh, Fallen Angels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that miniseries. Was that... That was during Inferno, right? I'm sure it's in my... Maybe it's not in my Inferno. No, I'm thinking of Exterminators. But I remember the... I remember the, the splash page ads for Fallen Angels. Angels but I never read them. All right. It was like a four-issue miniseries, wasn't it? I still know who the Vanisher is. The Vanisher, the guy in green from, like, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Was that... Am I... No, uh, I think I'm describing the, um... the bird guy. The Michael Keaton. A vulture. I think I'm just thinking of the vulture. And Rachel Summers was Phoenix 2, Electric Boogaloo. So, um, yeah, not much more about Rachel Summers that I already kind of just skipped a roundabout. She had, like, this, this... The spikes, the spiky outfit, the whole the, the, the red leather bodysuit with the spikes. That was... Something's going on with that. Uh, but uh, there, 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 uh, there you have it. That is the... A round of the Marvel trivia for the day. And a little bit of background about uh, Tigra. I think that was really the uh, the focus of the show for the few minutes we, we, we get to spend together here. Um, and I started with an overpower card, and I won't do that again. Because there's really not much we can get out of the overpower cards, except uh, a Hulk smash. But I like these, because we get to learn a little something. 
I don't even know when these came out. Oh, these are 2012. All right. So watch it all come together. And we get a little trivia without a question here. So we learned a little something, something else. It, it bothers me that I've run into two of these cards that are all about uh, Werewolf by Night. But, um, you know, that's what was going on in 1974 when the world was waiting for, uh, you know, Charlie's Angels to save him a year or so later, right? This is what's going on with the Tigra and the Werewolf by Night. And, um, hey, to be continued. <laughs>